Hey YouTube, welcome back. Chris here. Today we're going to do another Let's Fix a Bike. Uh, today I'm working on this giant TCR. Customer brought this to me. They had purchased it used online somewhere and uh, looked all great and uh, everything looks very nice, but there are some definite problems with it. I addressed a few of them already. We had an issue with the front derailleur cable, had an issue with the bottom bracket, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. In doing my tune-up on this bike, I could not for the life of me get the rear derailleur to stop jumping and let me show you what I'm talking about. So every time I try to shift into the highest gear on the rear derailleur, I get this jumping. And at first I thought, okay, is there an issue with the limit? I checked the limit, no issue. I checked the alignment of the hanger, it was aligned perfectly. I checked the alignment of the derailleur cage, aligned perfectly. I checked the chain, nothing wrong with the chain. I checked the cassette, the cassette is fine. I could not for the life of me figure out why this was jumping. I spent about 20 minutes trying to diagnose the issue with this. And I can tell you all those things I just told you, none of them are the problem. So if you think you know what it is, take a guess. I'm going to show you here in a minute. So let me go ahead and take the wheel off. So here I've got the wheel off and you can see the cassette in a close up and everything looks to be fine. But one minor detail in swapping this bike around with all the parts around, whoever put this cassette on, this is an 11 tooth outer cog. This lock ring is a 12 tooth lock ring. So if you look in these gaps, the chain won't fit down in there, which was making it pop out. So. We're going to switch that lock ring out to the proper lock ring and uh, try it again. I just happened to have an 11 tooth lock ring laying around. It's a Shimano lock ring. And actually, let me show you the difference here. It is minimal, but you can see the 11 tooth one has a smaller diameter. So it won't hit that. It won't overlap those gaps in the teeth. All right, so now I've got the proper lock ring on. I've got the wheel back on. Let's go ahead and try it out. Now you can see, no matter how hard I pedal, no jumping because that chain is now meshing down in those teeth properly. Still gotta do some tuning here. So the problem is fixed. This just goes to show, you know, no matter how much time you spend with these bikes, no matter how much you're around them, you always see new things. You know, things you don't expect when you're just racking your mind like what could be making this bike not work there's a million different variables that can play in and uh, you know something like the wrong part in there something you wouldn't even think to check um, because someone was shuffling around parts and scrapping together a bike can make all the difference so hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something if you like it please like and subscribe i'm gonna do some more